Hi guys, welcome back to your Not So Ordinary Scrapbook channel. Um, I thought I'd take a break from studying today to do a video. Um, I needed a break. I've been on and off stud studying all weekend. Um, aside from the evenings, I've been trying to make a point of spending the evenings with my family and... Um, haven't we're all like involved in the whole fall aesthetic of watching scary movies and all kinds of stuff um so um so we've been doing that but I did get um I needed a break anyway <laughs> from my studying because I've been studying um, a good portion of today and I need to go back to it after this because um, this thematic unit that I am working on and um, it's huge and um, it's due tomorrow night and I it's it's kicking my butt it's just totally kicking my butt I, I'm exhausted I was just telling my husband that I like I I wish I could just, like, sleep. I'm so, like, physically and emotionally and mentally drained from this assignment that I'm just, like, ah. I'm, I'm just, like, all I want to do is, like, sleep. Like, I wake up in the morning and I'm just, like, I don't even want to get out of bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. So this portion of this thematic unit is due tomorrow. And as you know, this course is 12 weeks long. So it's like this huge, huge, big thing. But like every last week we didn't have um, the thematic unit was not due. Um, so, but this tomorrow it is. So I have to work on that some more. And it's... It's just very, very stressful, and I feel like I don't have anything left to give sometimes, but, um, you know, I just got to do it, but it's important to take a break, too, so, um, anyways, yesterday in the mail, I got the Ellie Studio for October kit, so I'm going to throw that away now. And I did open it and look at it, but I'm going to show it to you. Um, of course, Ellie Studio does not sponsor me in any way. Um, I just subscribe to them because I like them. And they're one of the more inexpensive um, subscription services. Um, it's like $13, I think. 13 or 14 dollars including shipping a month to get the stuff and it's very versatile you can use it in a number of ways you can use it for packet scrapbooking you can use it for um to cut you know apart as embellishments um there's just a lot of different ways to use it and i love the colors the colors are always so vivid in this um in this subscription so um i've subscribed for quite a while now um i'm not sure how many years i've subscribed but um it's a small business and so anyway um but um these are the large cards there's tradition and of course it's themed you know it's fall themed there's leaves on the screen, large card. And then I think there's one more large one. And it's just red with triangles. So, um, even though there's fall leaves on this, it could be used for October, November, September, any of those months. It's just, like I said, it's, their products are very versatile. Um, some of these are, these are the die cuts that poke out and you use your own adhesive. Um, 
and usually they're labels. Um, some of them are themed. This one says spooky, cute, on this day, fave. Most of them are very versatile. Like, they can be used for anything. But the colors always match. I love the vividness of this green and orange. That goes really good with that. That goes really good with that. This pink with the red goes perfectly um, if you want to build on your cards. Um, this one says gather together. So that would be good for like um, Thanksgiving. More pumpkins, please. Here and now, the best time, home, fun. Today is the day. This looks kind of like a candy corn. Just really, really cute. And then you get a big stack of small cards. And these can be cut apart into labels if you want or cut in half. I generally find that I cut these in half a lot of the time and use them as like a um, foundation piece to my clusters. And then you have like a top foundation piece and a bottom foundation piece. It's just something that I do. Um, you can use them whatever way you want. Um, I do enjoy pocket scrapbooking and I do have a couple they're not project life they're just random and I one one thing that I like to do with my pocket scrapbooks is I like to intermix pocket pages with regular 12 by 12 pages so like the page protectors so like when I'm working through a book like if I feel like doing a pocket page I'll do one but then I'll also do I like the way that it looks to have pocket pages mixed in with um, regular layout pages. It's just something that I just have always enjoyed doing. And it kind of breaks it up a little bit, especially if I'm working my way through an album and I will come to a pocket page and I'll be like, oh, fun, I get to do a pocket page today. You know, it just breaks it up a little bit. So this one says so much, this was so much fun. This is a grid, but it's got four different colors. It's got green, gray, orange, and yellow, or gold. It's more of a golden rod, I think. It's more like this color, gold. Um, this says love lives here in gray. Um, this is like a primary color rainbow stripe. Here's a green grid. A green with um, lines, notebook lines, orange, two different shades, things I love most about autumn, early sunsets, crisp and cool air, fall leaves, pumpkin everything, rainy days, sweater weather, cozy blankets, game days, family traditions, good eats, bonfires, and s'mores. It says check all that apply. I think this would be really cute for like a bucket list. And like do a page of bucket list items that you do and then like check off everything that you did for autumn. I think that's really cute. This is stars. All the details I never want to forget. Very cute. These can be cut apart as separate labels if you wanted or used as a card. This one, three things. One, two, three, and they're all in like green, gold, and orange. Um, photograph details in orange. In the news, headline, story, date. I think this is kind of neat because like you, there's so much news going on around us and different things are going on. And like we forget year to year, like, or even month to month, like what was in the news? And I think that that's something that like, it might be interesting for people to like our relatives to read or whoever's going to read our scrapbooks eventually. Oh, wow. That happened, you know, during then or whatever. Um, pink and red, um, perpendicular stripe, um, stars, gray and white, um, a pink heart on red, love pink on red. I think it's so cute. And then October highlights. So that's the entire kit for Ellie Studio for October. Love it. Um, I will definitely use everything in this kit, which I generally do with Ellie Studio. <laughs> so.
I never have anything that in this kit that I don't use. So, but so I decided I'm going to scrapbook at least one page today. Um, I still have one page left of my um of like side B but I don't think I'm going to do that today um oh I wanted to show you this okay everyone probably got one of these in the mail it's from Amazon it's a holiday gift guide um my kids are older so they don't do all the fun little cute things in this but so I put it in my scrap room because this fox is so stinking cute and like this can all be cut out and used. I mean, look at this. How cute is that fox? How cute is that owl? Merry and bright. That could be cut out. What's your wish list? Could be cut out and used in your scrapbook. Hip array. Hello. So stinking cute. There's so many things that could be like, you could punch these out into tags and put them on cardstock so stinking cute there's just so many things of course you know there's toys too which I just bypass that and I look for all the cute little like decorative things that I can use there's a whole full sh sheet of stickers which you know of course I can use in my scrapbooks or making embellishments um but there's just a lot even this little bear I mean he's so stinking cute you cut him out, use them on an embellishment tag. So when I get stuff like this, like even this maze, I would cut out like all these, this cute little raccoon and this little otter. So stinking cute. I mean, I wouldn't use the maze part. Of course, you could use it as like a design concept thing, but I mean... I love getting these things in the mail. This bird is cute. And these, like these cutouts, so stinking cute. But there's just, um, you might want to take a second look at it. I mean, unless your kids are going to like completely destroy yours. Um, that's cute, that little... What is that? Is that a badger? I'm not sure. Um, here's a color by number. That would be cute colored. Um, so I mean, if you want your kids to look through it and find the toys that they want. Like I said, my kids are older. The only thing that they would probably be interested in looking at would be like the electronic games and stuff. Because my kids do have a Nintendo Switch. Um, both of them do. But, um, other than that, I mean, I'm not going to use it for anything. This is really cute, too. This would be really cute for, like, you know, you could cover this up. You could cover that up. Use it as a, as part of an embellishment. So, of course, this isn't acid-free, but I don't worry about acid-free anymore. So... Um, so if you're not, if you're one that doesn't worry about acid free, everyone got a free book of embellishments in the mail. So, <laughs> so I love when I get stuff like that in the mail that I can use for scrapbooking and stuff like that. Okay. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a fall page because I've been kind of in a fall mood lately. Yesterday, I was doing my homework and I was just like feeling tired and a little bit burnt out. This is the one that I need to do the other side of and it's just white, but um, it's not really a fall page. It's just a cat asleep on our couch. So I'll probably do like one of the dog. I tend to keep like our pets like in one specific album. So I'll probably do that another time. But um, today, I think I'm going to scrapbook this picture, um, which is of my family, my side of the family, um, minus a bunch of the younger group of 
grandchildren. So this is the older group of grandchildren that are all now adults. Um, so this was probably back in, I'm thinking Matt was five and he's 28 now, almost 29. So that was about 20, probably about 25 years ago. So it was probably the first year Scott and I were married, honestly, or the second year. We got married when Matt had just turned four. So I'm guessing he's five there. Well, maybe older. Because he was a lot older when he lost his baby teeth. And they're the same age. And he it, he has both of his adult teeth in. So I'm guessing he's seven. Yeah, I'm thinking Matt's seven. The, I think... Yeah, seven, eight, and nine. And Megan looks like she's about two or three. Courtney is the same age as Matt and Alex. Um, this is Friendly Dog. Friendly Dog died a long time ago. But, um, and of course, Kenny's kids weren't there with us either. Of course, Sasha wasn't born yet. Madison was. No, Madison wasn't either. Was she? No, Madison is David's age. So Kenny didn't have any kids then. He wasn't married then yet either. So, um, so we've got Ann and Scott and Courtney, Courtney and Megan. My brother's holding Courtney. That's their kids. And then there's me and Scott, and we only have Matthew. And then Jenny and Dan, and they have Rachel, Eric, and Alex. And um, so the ones that are missing are Hunter and Ethan, because they weren't born yet. Jenny had David and Sam. They're not born yet. Ann and Scott didn't have any more kids after Megan. And then um, Kenny had Madison and Sasha. So, and that's it. But, so the, if, if Matt was seven, that would have been 21 years ago. So that would have been 2000. So that would have been the year before I got pregnant with, it would have been the year before I got pregnant with Hunter. Yeah. So, but anyways, it's fall. It's a fall photo. And I decided I wanted to do a fall layout. So, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this because it matches so well with that. Um, let's see what else I have in this kit that I could use that might work. Oh, I need to find a stamp set. Let's see. I want to use something a little bit different than before. I didn't use the apples with the mice before. Um, happy birthday. Nope, that won't work. Um, Probably use some of these. Memories in the making is good for this. Or grateful for fall. Um, letters. Um, I like oh happy day on that. I might use some of the mice, but I doubt it. Um, but I could use like the leaves and stuff. And then the days of the week, I might use that. Let's see. What else can I use? I might end up using some of these LE Studio too. Oh, nothing in there. Where did I set the embellishments? Oh, right there. Okay, so I can use some of these. I'm 
might use some of these fall florals, I think, if they will match. Yeah, that matches, that orange. So this is from the Emily collection. So that tag, this floral, and that floral. Wait, how many grandchildren are there? There's four, five, six. Oh, perfect. Oh, wait, that's nine. Six. That's a nine. Never mind. I thought that was a six. And I was like, that's perfect for that. But I might use that. Um, camel dots. There's some orange there. Might use the purple hearts there. Some of those purple ones. Loving life. That kind of goes. I don't know if I'll use it for sure. Summer. Oh, I like that. With that. Okay. That's cute too. That might work too. Anything else? I don't know. It's kind of purpley. So aside from working on homework, I have not been doing too much. We have been, like I said, I might do this about six grandchildren. There should be a six in here. Here we go. There's a six. Um, We've been watching some scary movies. Um, we Scott talked me into watching The Conjuring last night, and that movie was awful as far as I was concerned. I mean, I should have known that it was going to be pretty terrifying, but I am um, going into it because I've heard about the Annabelle movies and... And I've heard that they're scary, that it's a scary movie. Um, I've never seen it, so I, d I didn't really know, like, how scary it was. Um, I don't generally go for, like, the evil spirit type scary Halloween movies. I, I don't know why. I just don't care for them. I've never seen The Exorcist or anything like that because I just... I can't get through it. It just, um, I don't know why the demonic part of it just really bothers me. And I didn't realize that this movie was like, like that kind of until we got like partially into it. And, um, so that kind of freaked me out. Plus it had kids. It involved kids and like... I'm, like, hypersensitive when it comes to, like, kids, like, horror and little kids that just really scares the crap out of me. Um, but I, I made it through it and never want to watch it again. Never want to watch, like, the second one or the third one. But basically I can just say that, okay, I watched it. <laughs> Um, Ethan likes them. Ethan and Hunter have both seen all of them and they think that they're good. Um, and they don't bother, it doesn't bother them. It doesn't bother Scott either. Um, but we have been watching the Scream TV series. I'm not sure if it's on Netflix or Hulu. I can't remember which one, which channel it's on or if it's on HBO Max. I'm not sure. Um, but 
it um it's been pretty good i mean it it kind of like i'm not a hack and slash type of person like i don't really care for those kind of movies the hack and like that's what i call them hack and slash um my kids call them slash slasher movies um but i'm not really into the kind of stuff um i need a white piece of cardstock to stamp on i could just stamp on the back of this i'll just stamp on the back of this um But, um, the, this TV series has been pretty good because it's been, like, a mystery. I really like, like, suspense-type movies that, like, whodunit type thing. And this one has definitely, like, it's... It, has been stupid at certain parts. I mean, like, how stupid can you get to go into a dark room without a light? Or, like, the end of the first season, like, the girl had been, like, sliced across her stomach. And her mom was hurt badly and, like, was getting into the ambulance. And she was just holding, like, this pad across her stomach but she was walking fine and like no one was checking her over and like she said she was going to ride in the ambulance and she just hops up into the ambulance like nothing was wrong and I was like that's so unrealistic because even if you had a minor cut across your stomach because she was bleeding I mean you could see all the blood like across her stomach from getting sliced open it's like you would be like in pain, you would not be, like, hopping into an ambulance or, like, walking around like nothing's wrong. It was just kind of unrealistic, but not to be overcritical about a dumb TV show, but, um, otherwise, um, it was... <laughs> It's been pretty good because, like, I haven't been able to figure out who who has done it. Like, we're in season two now. We're at the end of season two. And I still, I don't know who who the, pers the killer is yet. So, it's been pretty good as far as that goes. Like, like not being able to figure out who did it to the very end. Um, but otherwise it's pretty cheesy, but okay. So if I'm going to use, I really, the mice are cute. Um, however, I'm thinking I'm just going to use pumpkins for this and some fall leaves. But we've been watching that and um what did they say I pick you okay a pile of leaves there's an assortment of leaves here so I'm gonna put leaves here leaves here maybe this bucket of apples okay so otherwise I think that it it was pretty well done I mean as far as like a slasher type TV series. We finally finished up to like the final season that was on um, either 
I think it was on Netflix, A Virgin River. Um, so we're done, like, as far as we can go on Virgin River. So... Oh, happy day. That was the one I was going to use. So. I'm going to do Memories in the Making. But we've been watching like some old ones along with it. We just watched Something Wicked This Way Comes. And that's a Disney movie. But I forgot how terrifying that movie is. That was, like, really creepy, too. Probably because it had kids in it. Maybe I'll do Grateful for Love. That's sweet. Because, like, it's family. Um, yeah, it's just... I don't know. I don't usually get this creeped out. By scary movies. Okay, I think that's good. And then I'm not going to do the letters quite yet. Okay. I'm going to use the stays on ink because this is kind of a slick surface and I don't want it to smear. So I'm going to use the stays on black ink. And I think I re-inked this a while ago, too. Not that long ago, because I have stays on re-inker, too. So. I think it's fun that I've been challenging myself to like use my stamps and use stuff that I don't normally. I think every month I'm going to do that just because I tend to gravitate toward the same things all the time. Um, that's not going to work. That's what I was afraid of. All right. So we're going to have to put those like up there. Um, yeah. Otherwise, it's going to hit this thing up. So I'm hoping, I'm hopeful this works. <laughs> I'm going to press really hard to make sure that you get a good, and I didn't prep these again. So you can prep them if you, if you feel inclined to. I don't normally prep. I just haven't, like... I mean, I did last time just to see if it was made a difference. I didn't notice too much of a difference, but I mean, it definitely worked. It's just, okay, let's see how this turned out. That's lifting it. Okay, this is, this is a little different than I'm used to. Yeah, some of them turned out okay. The words, not so much. Hmm. And it stuck to it. I think that that was just part of my problem. And it's a slick surface too, so that might be part of my problem too. Okay, so we're gonna try I'm just going to use the back of this, this time. Maybe I should put, like, 
Okay, so the apples are fine, so I can take that off. And the pumpkins I probably will use again. This definitely needs to be stamped again. The words definitely do. Probably do this leaf again. Um, that I don't think that I need these leaves again. Well, maybe I will. Okay, let's see. That's going to hit everything. I'm going to put this like right there. Let's see if that hits anything. No. Okay, we're going to try this again. So maybe if I had prepped it, it would have made a difference. I don't know. I am definitely not a professional stamper by any means. I have quite a few stamps, but like I said, I don't normally use them very often. top. It's funny this stays on ink. It smells just like black. You know those magic markers when you're a kid like at school and the metal like it had like a metal casing around it and like they smelled so good like they had like a sweet smell to them and like when you had to make posters and stuff for school and you'd like I don't know. I was weird. I would smell. I would sniff them. <laughs> and um, that's what that stays on ink smells like. It reminds me of that. Okay, let's try this again. This kind of like paper sticks and I didn't I think that that's my problem I think it's the paper yeah because like the words are not okay so let's see this is regular. Maybe I should have used this. Okay. We're going to try this one more time with like non slick paper and see. This is all just like advertisement anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. So we're going to try this again. But we're going to use. I'm going to move this one over. I think I'm going to do two more pumpkins just because I like the pumpkin. I'm going to take these off. Now you have to use a special kind of solvent to clean the stays on ink off. And I have some of that. Okay, let's see. Oh. No, it's got to be moved over just a little bit more. So. My brain is like still on my thematic unit. I, um... The theme I chose to teach my students is chickens, <laughs> of all things. It's just like one, my, my overall theme is farm, is farm animals. Um, but my, my theme for this week is chickens. And, um, and it's not that it's hard to design a, um, lesson plan because I've, I've done it like so many times, but that was like, um, now there are like state standards that you have to follow and 
it's just a lot different now. And um, not only that, um, I wasn't the one creating, like I'm creating this like all on my own, which like um, most teachers don't have to do. Um, and, um, so it's just, it's mostly time consuming and you have to write everything. Like you have to write out your plans as if like a sub was going to use them. So you have to go into details and like the details are just like, it's just extremely time consuming. It's, it's enjoyable. I mean, it's not like hard, difficult. I don't know, hard and difficult are the same thing, but, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's, it's just, it's just exhausting. I'm just exhausted. It's just mentally hard when there's just, everything has to, like, they're just extremely, the professors are just extremely nitpicky and you can't forget stuff. And I mean, my professor is really nice. She's great, but it's just, and she's very helpful. It's just, everything has to be worded a certain way and it's just, it's just very frustrating. Hunter's home. Is this one sticking now? See, that turned out much better. And this was a non-slick surface. I'm pretty sure that that was the problem. Was the slick surface because that turned out perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to take these out. I'm still going to use these. So... Yeah, I'll, I'll make that all work. Okay, so when I clean my stays on ink, I have to go get my cleaner. I just do it on here. That way I don't lose any pieces. I think I'm missing a piece already. No, I think I have it all. Okay. Um, should have got it out before, but I keep my stays on ink cleaner in here. And I think you can just buy it on Amazon. It's just this is on all-purpose cleaner and it comes with like a dauber and then you just go over it over each one I like to clean my stamps after I'm done using them, like right away. Otherwise, I'll forget and then the ink dries on it and it's not good for your stamps. So I just take the time to do it. I'm just going to stick it in here since it's part of my kit. And then I just take a wipe. Just take like a baby wipe or maybe two and then I just blot it at the top. And it takes it off. So my husband starts his job tomorrow. He um he has to be there at 1045. And I have to go to rehab in the morning and he was going to the grocery store today 
to pick up a few things. And I said, can you like take my car to make sure that it starts? Because for some reason, like the back latch, like doesn't always latch all the way. Like, especially if someone gets in the trunk or, well, it's not, I have a, I have like a SUV. So it's like, um, I have a navigator. So like the, the back hatch is like, it's automatic. So you push the button and it shuts. Well, if somebody accidentally tries to like shut it, like without pushing the button, it doesn't latch all the way. And then my battery goes dead. And I have a new battery that was extremely expensive. It was like ridiculously expensive for this battery. Much more expensive than any other battery for any vehicle that I've ever owned before. And um, so um, I know it has a new battery in it, but the last couple times, because I don't drive my car very often, um, the battery is dead. So I asked him to take my car to the store and my battery was dead because I wanted him to test it before I had to drive tomorrow. And so, um, so he had to jump it and he drove it to the store and it was fine. And then he tried to like adjust the hatch again to make sure that that didn't happen again to me tomorrow. So hopefully it doesn't. I'm hoping it doesn't anyway. Um, because if it does, then I won't be able to go. But, um, which is fine. Otherwise, I, um, the only thing with that is I won't get to exercise at all tomorrow then, which would suck because I have stuff I have to get done. We did, oh, here it is, oh, happy day. So he did that and um, and then um, I don't know where I was going with this. Oh, and then once we find out what his schedule is, we have to find out we're supposed to go pick up the kids as friends in Indiana the last week of October. So that's going to be a pretty busy week because we have to go to Indiana. And then I promised them we'd go to like the pumpkin patch. We usually go to like the apple, is it the apple farm? The one that's in Peoria. That's the one we usually go to. When we go. Um, but I don't know if we'll go to that one this year. So it just depends like how much time I have. If I have to go by myself to that, I don't want to go all the way to Peoria because it's pretty far away. But Okay, so this time I think I'm going to use my Copics, Copic markers instead of, I know it wasn't part of my kit this time around, but I think I'm going to use them anyway, just to speed up this process a little bit, um, except for, I don't know where my template is. Usually I need my template to, to be able to tell what color everything is. That's sand, so that's brown. I think it's a, like a yellow that's like orange. Melon yellow, I think is orange. Okay, so I'm gonna do the pumpkins. Yeah. may take longer than I thought it was going to. So. But they are um, planning their Halloween party. I don't really, oh, that's smudging. 
That's not good. I don't like that. Since it stays on ink, it's not supposed to smudge. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it's not terrible, but... So... But I know I'll have to do the cooking. Ethan will help me, though, because Ethan loves to cook. So he'll be... He likes to go all out and make, like skeleton veggie trays and all kinds of stuff he's always been that kind of a kid that like to do like themey stuff like like me i've always been like the holiday kid of the family yeah i don't know if this is gonna work i don't know if the alcohol ink is gonna show up on this this might be an epic fail guys Maybe I should just quit while I'm ahead. I don't know. Because it's really smudging. I don't know about this one either. Like the orange definitely shows up better there. This slick paper was probably a mistake to use. Live and learn. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use these two pages at all. I think I'm just going to use these and call it good. Because I don't want to mess with it. So I don't know how many kids are going to be at this Halloween party. Probably not too many. I um, I know Hunter's going to be there, and I'm pretty sure that his girlfriend's coming to it. Um, other than that, I don't know. Let's just put some adhesive here. And I know that they have some friends that are coming, like, that that usually come when their other friends come from Indiana just because um, they're like, they used to live here. And um, so like, um, they always stay with us because um, one of the boys, um, Well, both boys have like medical issues and um and so um their parents have them stay with us. So but um their friends um Always want to see them when they come to visit. So, so I'm going to put a little label there, I think. But I don't, where is my foundation pieces? These florals. This totally reminds me of. my mom and dad's bathroom growing up. So I think it's kind of funny that <laughs> even though this is a different house, this is when they lived in Missouri, not Wisconsin. So I'm going to put some foundation pieces down, I think. I don't want this video to be too long. My mom um, posted on Facebook today. My grandma, well, I think I mentioned before she had COVID. 
And um, when I talked to her last week, she was fine. I mean, she seemed happy to hear from me and fine. And Matt talked, Matt sent her a message. And like a lot of people in the family were really worried about her. So we, we've been like trying to keep in contact with her and stuff like that. And I mean, she's, she's quite old. I think she's 97, 96 or 97. I forget, but, um, she, um, so if I do a cluster here and a cluster here, But my mom said that she she stopped by this last night, I think, and she said that um, that the nurse at the nursing home said that she that grandma hadn't been out of bed for two days, and that um, she hadn't been and um, her old roommate that she used to. Love was said she hadn't been to the dining room in a couple days either. Well, when mom went in there to to talk to grandma, grandma was like, mom's like, you have all these messages on your phone. People have been trying to call you and you haven't been checking your messages. And my grandma said, she's like, I would have checked my messages, but I can't remember how to use my phone. So that kind of concerns all of us because just last week she knew how to use her phone. So I don't know exactly what's going on there, but it's scary. It's always scary when like, for me, it's my grand, you know, my grandmother, like she's my only grandma left. Everybody else has passed on. And I know that she's quite old, but, um, but it's still, you know, I was talking to my mom and I'm like, you know, it's, it's still sad. It's still hard. It's still like, you don't want to lose this person that you love. I mean, so, and Matt's getting married this year and of course she can't, she can't travel anymore. Um, but I know she wishes she would, she could, cause Matt was very special to her. He was, he was incredibly special. All of her grandchildren are special, but like, or her great, great grandchildren are special. But Matt was like, she just got a kick out of Matt. I think everybody got a kick out of Matt. Matt was... And that was just this kid that would just like, I don't know. It's just funny. It's funny that like families have like, you know, not that anybody is more special than anybody else, but you know, Hunter's always been like joy boy. He's always been like the personification of joy and Matt's always been kind of, he's, he's always been like this kid that just was so funny and he's still so funny. He just will crack you up when he was really little and we took our first train ride to Missouri. He told, he was probably a little bit younger than this in this picture and, um, he told my mom that he met so many friends on the train that he has all these friends that he met on the train. And mom's like, really? And Matt was like, yeah, I have all these friends. I have so many friends that I met on the train. And he really did. I mean, like, he was like, there wasn't a lot of people on the train, let's be honest. But, like, everybody that was on the train, he just was so, he... 
is so what's always so animated and like everybody on the train was just like enamored by him and it was <laughs> it's hard not to love matt it's hard not to love any of my kids but it's he just is he's just one of these kids that just is memorable you know I mean, I think he's extra special anyways. I think all of my kids are extra special. I wouldn't trade any of my kids. I've got some pretty great kids. They're not perfect. I mean, things happen in life. But... All of my kids are very caring. They have very caring hearts and they they would never do anything to hurt anyone. Because they really care about people. I think that's enough there. I'm trying to think. I did end up putting a little bit of purple in here, but you know, I kind of like this. Why fit in when you can when you can stand out? Because our family is just kind of unique that way. <laughs> We're loud and proud. We really are. But we're fun. Okay. What else do I want to add to this? Because it feels kind of empty. I wanted to use this, like, grateful for. I don't even really like these pumpkins because they're smeary. Is that bad? I don't know what to use on this. I need to use more. I mean, I feel like I didn't, like it's not really. Maybe I could use this card. Love lives here. That gray would go there, but then I need to put something gray there. But I do like that there. I'm gonna put that there. I do have more gray hearts, so. I could bring like, some gray out there, I suppose. Somebody's mowing their lawn. I think Scott's done for the year. I think I heard him say he was done for the year. Kind of like, like that there. That hurt there. And then I'll put one up. Why is it? Just to draw the eye up there too. So we got the visceral triangle. So that's a little bit more balance. And I know this card is kind of out in the open, but I feel like maybe I should put like a journaling thing here. I don't want to use anything like real big. I do kind of like this. Like, I think that would look really cute like behind the sticker.
Okay, so I know I want to put this here, and I'll just put, because I'll probably write like, so we did get some good news this week though. Um, my brother-in-law who had cancer um, is in remission. So he's done with his chemo, he still has to have surgery. Um, but he is in remission. Um, he just had a PET scan and he, it showed that he's cancer free. So that's amazing because the chemo really made him sick. Like it was really hard on them, like really, really hard. And um, I can't even imagine. I mean, I, I don't. <sighs> Illness is just, I mean, any kind of illness is horrible, especially like, I can't, oh, I don't, I can't even talk about it. It's just, um, okay. So I think that that's good. Um, I think I am going to use some spray mask. I think I'm going to use this glimmer mask. The only thing I'm a little bit scared about in using this is if it's going to leave oil spots. I get a little bit concerned about that. Um, what if I do have a water brush? Hmm. I do want to cover up the picture because I don't want to get anything on the picture. So I usually, I just like put scrap paper or something over top in places that I don't, well, that is not going to work so well, is it? Um, up the picture and what can I use? Where are my spray masks? Um, what colors I have. So I'm really kind of, I shouldn't be so fearful of using these. I don't use them very often. This is Glim like glimmer mist, but it's like just an iridescent clear. This is orange. I'm a little bit frightened. Sometimes it doesn't show up the way I want it to. Okay. 
try some of this. Forgot to put my mat down. Good one, Amy. So I got it on the table. Forget how messy this is. So what year did I figure out this was? 2000? It was 2000. That was the year that I got pregnant with Hunter. I don't see how that could be. I bet you that's 1999. Because I know we didn't go to Missouri at Thanksgiving. In 2000. Okay. So I got ink on this, but I think I can wipe it off. It's just a healing mat. Yep. Comes right off. Okay. And then this can just be thrown away. Okay, so you can't really see like the glittery gold. I mean, I can see it because I'm sitting right here. But like... There is glittery gold specks from that um, glimmer mist. I don't know if you can see it very well or not. But. Okay. Doesn't really look like there's too much going on on this page, but you know, sometimes that's just how some pages are. Um, I'm going to put. Um, I know this was Thanksgiving, and I'm thinking it's Thanksgiving. Nineteen ninety nine. And I was gonna put that um, number six because there were six grandchildren. I think I'm still gonna do that. Just because um, there were only six grandchildren at the time. Do I want it down here? Like, I feel like it should be like a continuation of like a cluster. I'm just going to put the Sterling family. And then um, only six grams. Where's Grandma? Where's oh, Dad's in the picture? Who's taking the picture? Maybe Grandma's taking the picture. She must be, because everyone's in the picture. Unless Kenny's girlfriend's taking the picture. It was probably his girlfriend that was taking the picture. I don't know where Grandma was, unless Grandma was with Charlie. Grandma was probably with Charlie. I don't know. Um, I should put now, wait, only six grands back then, now. There. 
there are, let's see. There's 12. No, there are 12. We doubled it. I'm just going to put double the fun. And now we have something called the older group of grandchildren and the younger group of grandchildren, which are all now adults except for Sam. <laughs> Sam is the youngest, which is my sister Jenny's youngest son, and he is 12. So he's almost a teenager. But I think he's 12, or is he 13 now? He might even be 13 now. I think Ethan was two, though. Or was Ethan four? When he was, I don't know. But anyway that's it so i thank y'all for watching i know this video was just kind of lame because my my stamping was like an epic fail but i still got to share um my ellie studio i did use quite a bit of it on this layout i like how it turned out i mean it was simple i did get to use um because i didn't use the stamping on this i did use um my mist which is something that I don't normally use. So that was something that, and I did use up those enamel dots that I wanted to use up. So all in all, it was pretty good for like a quick um, layout. I might add this in too, actually. I want to use this too. Um, considering that like I'm doing this like, that's my break from studying. It's not really. It's so like weird. There. But um, I don't really like that there, actually. And now I ripped it. Maybe it's gonna stay there. I think that's gonna stay there, and I think I'm gonna move this instead. It just needs to be uneven needs to be like so it's not like it was bothering me because it was like right next to each other like right straight across but okay well I thank y'all for watching again and I will see you next time on your not so ordinary scrapbook channel bye